What an exciting city Madison, Alabama is. As the mayor of Madison, I am so proud of our community. It's energetic, it's exciting, it's a great place to raise a family. It's our home. And we continue to add value in multiple areas. And one of the best areas the council has supported is our Madison Community Center. It houses our senior center, but it also gives our community so much more to enjoy. What I'm most excited about the community center is that it is going to appeal to everyone. From infants to senior citizens, we're going to cover multi-generations and it will be here for multi-generations. I'm so excited about it. We want a place for all Madison residents from birth at Madison Hospital all the way to being a senior and everything in between. We want our residents to have some place they can go to have fun and enjoy life here in Madison. We took the tour this morning. What, seeing what it is now and knowing what it was before and and literally making lemonade out of lemons and being able to turn that turn that center around and see that come to fruition. I think that's um, that's going to be really cool. We're going to have organizations that will be able to meet there. The Madison City Disability Advocacy Board will be there, which will be huge for our special needs community. We're going to have programs there for the youth, a variety of indoor and outdoor activities that are is going to appeal to so many people. The one thing about Leisure Services, which is Park and Rec as well as the Senior Center, is that they choose to be with us. Each day is a new day, but we want to make our facilities appealing enough that they would love to come there. And we want to be able to service everybody, so that's what we're really trying to do, is have them choose us. I'm really happy with the baseball field being here. Knowing that the ballpark is part of the city's property for us to manage and maintain just makes me feel really proud. That is such a wonderful development for the entire city. We have a great place for people to have fun, uh, have recreation, restaurants, and to live. We went from cotton fields to now I'm sitting in the Trash Panda Stadium, so it's really grown. Town Madison continues to grow. Our Madison Wellness Center offers additional baseball fields, soccer fields, pickleball courts, gyms, aerobic studios. This investment absolutely takes Madison's recreation programs to the next level. When I ran on council my first time, I said everybody lives in Madison, but they shop and eat in Huntsville. So how can we keep some of our tax dollars here and be able to use them for our schools and our roads. You can now go eat a nice meal in Madison and not have to go into Huntsville. I'm really proud of the growth in the Madison Chamber of Commerce and the support that it gives to new businesses that are opening here in Madison. It's like almost every week we are cutting a ribbon on some new business. Well, now you get into Madison, uh, the district, and you come on a Friday and Saturday night, Main Street's full. We've got multiple shops that have opened in. We have uh, boutiques that are opening. We just have a new bookstore that's open up. We benefit from where we're located, from all our agencies and surrounding cities. Uh, you know, North Alabama is the economic engine of Alabama. Our Madison Chamber has, has really picked it up these past few years. They support our businesses so much. I'm really looking forward to the completion of the I-565 interchange that will bring people into town Madison and to the fact that we're going to be able to bring more people in there a little more easily is only going to help all of Madison. You know we're repaving all of Madison Boulevard right now. We got the roundabout coming in at Purr Green and Browns Ferry so that roundabout will help us move the traffic quicker there. We're looking at our roads and what are the most needed improvements that we can do to help our citizens. I'm so proud that we're able to invest in our employees. Our employees are our greatest resource and we value each and every one of them. It makes us not only competitive as far as recruiting new employees, it helps us to retain our current employees and make sure that we are fully recognizing the work that they do and compensating them appropriately. And all at the same time, not uh, absorbing health care premium increases. We don't want to be a revolving door. We want employees to come here and stay here and, and make it a career here. We did a really good thing for the city and uh, for the employees, being able to get them the steps they need and get them uh, re regulated where they should be as their pay goes. 
Hi, I'm Mary Lynn Wright with President of the Madison Hospital, and this is my friend, Apple. Apple is our therapy dog, and she's one of the things that makes a real difference at Madison Hospital for anybody that comes to see us. You know, whether you need emergency care, whether you're coming here to have a baby, to have surgery, we want to make a difference for you, and we believe that's what we do, and we're honored to take care of the city of Madison. It is a safe place to live and to raise your family. We're so proud of the work of our fire department and our police department in keeping all residents safe. Now growing into building 23A, which is gonna be our new public services facility. So what 23A does for us, it's first of all, gives us a presence in Town Madison. As far as the investment, it, it also expands our area for our police and our fire. It gives them more training space. It provides more office space. It just helps them do more of what they do and get better at doing it. I am particularly proud of the work of Public Works because whenever there's a weather event here in Madison, we have people out in early hours of the morning making sure that they're gonna be able to clear roadways, clear trees of power lines and things like that. So we have, they work behind the scenes, but we have a great Public Works department. Speaking of public safety. <laughs> Even though we continue to grow, we feel like a small town. I think everybody feels safe just walking, walking around the neighborhoods, just walking around town. Um, it, it, it still has a small community feel. Madison has made huge investments when it comes to safety and health, but I'd like to spotlight one more. Last year, we installed a baby box at Fire Station 1. This allowed opportunity for mothers to make the toughest decision that they would ever make. And this year alone, three mothers have made that tough decision and three lives were saved. It's just one more area that supports an incredibly strong quality of life. Our school system continues to deliver and this year they have delivered 38 National Merit semifinalists. That is not only a school system record, but a state record. So they are doing their job in Madison. We wanna make sure we do ours to support them. We've got diversity. There's over, there's 59 languages spoken in our schools. There's so much opportunity. We work with our local businesses, big and small, to provide so much opportunity to our students. I'm very proud to be on the Madison City School Board and would like to continue to help our schools thrive. When I started school here, we only had three schools and look at us now, I'm just so proud of the growth throughout my time here in Madison. I teach in Madison City Schools, so I get to see firsthand how excellent they are um, from admin to teachers to the school board. Um, and so that's like the number one thing that made us want to come back to Madison. We just opened a new middle school in 2023 and opening our, in our preschool. And then uh, we're, we're actually scheduled to open a elementary school in 2026. Our um, school system has done a very good job of doing our career technical education and building our academy system. We've got medical academy, engineering academy, green building, we've got um, culinary, we've got highly ranked theatrical arts and, um, and fine arts programs throughout all of our schools. They start some of these programs down in our elementary schools so that our children can have that experience all the way through their academic careers. Really excited about Sunshine Oaks. I mean, to be able to find 40 acres right in the middle of town is just a blessing for everybody. We've got disc golf coming in. We've got playgrounds for younger kids. We've got picnic pavilions. It's just a really nice open space for people to enjoy. New Kids Kingdom, uh, I love the modern developments that they've added to the park. Um, and they made it so open so I can keep an eye on my kids no matter where they are, where I am in the park. Being able to have any child, whether there's a disability or not, be able to come play and enjoy, that's the point of having a playground. I appreciate that Madison puts a lot of efforts towards developing the green spaces and the parks because our family loves being able to walk out the back door and ride our bikes to the greenway and all of it feels like it's right in our backyard. Parks, greenways, you know, having those conversations together, being able to spend time together. We're investing in people bonding and, and getting closer together. The state of the city of Madison, Alabama is strong and it continues to get stronger. The mayor and council supporting our department heads and employees haven't rested. We continue to add value in public safety, 
in recreation, in economic development, all of which leads to an improved quality of life. I am so happy to have planted my roots here in Madison, and I am so proud our family calls Madison, Alabama home.